another thing to do is a parallel snare bus with heavy compression. And I showed that one yesterday, uh, but I'll, uh, I'll show that again. That's uh, very, very easy to do. Um, I would say maybe do it with, with a sample, for instance. Like, say I want to make this pop. Uh, first of all, I'm going to turn off my groups. And I'll do something else. So I'm going to turn the snares down because I think they're at a good level right now. So let's pretend like they weren't at a good level. Let's turn them down a dB and a half and see what happens first. give it another 0.5 down. And now, interesting thing to note is that now that I've turned it down about 1.5 or 2, it actually sounds like a normal snare volume, and that's because this is pre-master. So my snare was already about 1.5 louder than it should have been, because that's about the amount that it was going to come down in a master. So now that I've actually turned it down to a reasonable volume, uh, it sounds more correct to me. Anyways, I've turned it down 2 dB. Let's add a parallel chain. So step one, shift Apple N. Well, Command N, Shift Command N, create a new track, parallel snare comp, send it to bus 20 as well. And I know that I want it to be this sample. And I know that this sample sounds great with the DBX 160. So, one of these days, I'll get to the EBX 160. Here we go. So, let's listen to that real quick. I know, it's, it's just a sample, I get it, guys. Okay, so now one thing to kind of remember to do when you're uh, compressing something is to uh, match the volume after you're done compressing it to what it was uncompressed so that you're not tricking yourself. Uh, with volume, because louder, if, you just, if you're just making it louder, you might trick yourself into thinking it's better when in fact it's just louder. It happens. In this case, it got softer. So that's without the parallel. Here's, and I'm going to remove all automation from the parallel track. That's with it. Without it. With it. Now, uh, I had done that on the original, man. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, well, hey, that's what happens when you open up a mix that's oh, yeah. over a year old. It's like, wow, why didn't I just do that? <laughs> yeah, I do like that better. But uh, 
um, I don't know if everyone in internet land caught that. I'm gonna play it with the parallel track muted and then the parallel track on. Parallel compression goes a long way with snare. The only thing is, like with anything else, you have great power with parallel compression. You have great power to improve a mix. You have a great power to ruin it. So uh, you know, be careful not to go overboard. It, it's supposed to blend in under the normal, snare, your regular snare. It's not supposed to be the loudest snare of them all. So uh, anyways, yeah, I feel like that made it better. <laughs>